Well, hello, crafters. How is everybody today? Can you believe it is Wednesday? Boy, that's really cockeyed. Let me see if I can get that kind of straightened out. Hold on a second. Uh, the whole thing is cockeyed. There we go. Let's try that better. All righty. I had to move my uh, camera and everything last night was our team meeting. So that was in a different area. So I had to move that to get it back. Yep. Let me bring this down just a wee bit. Oops. There we go. Alrighty, I think I got it now. I have my laptop over here so I can see where everything all is. So let me make sure I'm in the right spot. Um, today is Wednesday. It is February 10th. For those of you who don't know, next week begins Lent. Next Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. So we'll be talking about that in a little bit. But I'm going to show you a card today. The one I was planning on doing um, won't be able to do. So you might get an alternate or an additional Facebook Live this week solely because I just didn't have time to fiddle with it today. So let me pull this up. Whoops. Well, my goodness. There we go. Share copy and we'll put it here on our latte joy stampers so guys if you're not part of my latte joy stampers make sure you do join that because what that does is it gets you oops wrong one it does get you notified right away so that that way then you are aware when i go live that's the easiest way to put it i, I just i don't know any other way to do that um my friend marcia she's so cute she always puts it on for her alarm to be notified when i go live because I'm pretty constant. It's every Sunday night at 9 p.m. And, well, goodness. Hmm. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, it's every Sunday night at 9 p.m. And it's every Wednesday at noon Eastern. All times are Eastern because I live in Ohio. The great state of Ohio. Everybody, OH, go Bucks. All of that fun kind of stuff, right? So, with that, though... Because of, let me make sure I got it there. Oh my, you're really getting like the corner of my other desk in there and everything. Well, let's try to move that down just a wee bit more then. How about we try that? Actually, hold on, close your eyes for a minute if you get dizzy. I'm going to move this up just a bit. Now you're probably going to get my toes in there. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. See, this is what I, this is why I shouldn't move the, the camera, right? All right, I hope this is all in there. Let me make sure. All righty, so the other day I showed you the card. Oh, let's talk amongst yourselves for a brief minute. There we go. Nope, it still looks like it's still a little bit out. So let's try that, move that back, see if that works a little bit better. All righty, so we made this card on Sunday night. I think you guys can see that on there. On Sunday night, we made that. Well, then Monday, you guys know I do those coffee and cards for um, Lily's. And on Monday, we made this card right here. Well, seriously. Okay, from now on, I'm just not moving stuff. Apparently, I need to leave everything right where it's at. But last night for our team meeting, we had so many different things going on. I had to move everything back over to the table, the dining room table, so I had everything there. So this is the one that we made on Wednesday or on Monday at the Lilies, and I still have those. <clears throat> excuse me, I still have those pictures to post. Well, we're playing with this stamp set. Oh my! <laughs> we're playing with the corner bouquet, and this one here is the smaller of it, guys. My mom sent me a picture. She saw somebody who saw somebody who saw somebody, and they made it into a butterfly. So I'm going to be playing with that. That's why I'm going to probably do an, an additional Facebook Live later on this week with the team meeting last night and with um, today being the last day to sign up for the Seashells class and the Reverse Lenten Challenge class. It's just time got away from me and I wasn't able to do it because I had too many other things on, on the, in the hopper, as they say. And before I forget, and somebody please remind me, after we're done making the card, I have a sneak peek to show you. I got... Oops, oops, Hobbs is right underneath me. <laughs> Let me cover that all up. I got something from Stampin' Up! today, and there is a sneak peek in here. So I have it, and I will be opening it. See, I haven't even opened it, okay? So I'll be doing that later on. Oh, my gosh. He's got his puppy bed in here, but he wants to be right by me. Does anybody else have a dog that wants to do that? Love him to death, but, you know, he's only like 20, or I'm sorry, 26 pounds so he's he's little and I don't want to um <laughs> don't want to step on him he's a little tiny guy right so this is the 
poppy, no, purple posy. And guys, this is the color that's retiring, okay? It is going away. It's one of the in colors that's retiring this year. We do not have a stamp pad that matches it, nor do we have a, um, a refill that matches it. So I can guarantee you it's not coming back. There is a marker and there are blends. The blends were on the clearance rack. I'm not sure if they're still on to it. They probably sold by now. But see that right there? That's the stitched whimsy die onto it. And I'm going to show you something really, really fun. Oh, okay, come here, Hobbs. There you go. Hobbs had to be over here, so I moved the chair so he can get underneath the chair. He likes to lay under things. But we're going to play with that right there. But on this one, what we did, let me actually show you the one we did on Sunday night. And you guys can go back over and watch the video. This is the shimmery white paper. And um, I think it was my friend Nancy, Nancy F. I have two Nancys that come on Mondays. I think it was Nancy F. She, when she was looking at this, she was saying, I believe it was her. So if it wasn't, I apologize. Whoever it was, feel free to tell me who it was. She even said, she's like, boy, this looks so much prettier in person. You know, the video just didn't do it justice. You know, all the things we know about cards, just all the things we know. So um, this is really very stunning. And then when they made this one here, we just, did it as one uh, color and then here you notice we still did the, pur the purple posy but we backed it with the pretty peacock onto it and then I changed ribbons on it now this ribbon is in the big catalog it's actually a three pack of ribbons and you get this one you get um, a coastal cabana one and I think the other one is night of navy it's the playing with patterns ribbons that go along with it we can pull that up in a little bit all we did was change the ink color here, and then here, instead of doing all the extra, we just stamped it once. Guys, this card by itself is striking. Now, when you compare it to this one, you're like, ooh, this is what I would call a bumped up version. Well, since it's, you know, a new day and we want to play with more of the stamps that are in here, we're going to use the big one today. And again, this one's going to be slightly different than what I had planned on. So plan on, we're going to play with, um, there'll be another Facebook Live later on this week. Um, it'll probably be on Friday. You know what? Let's go with Friday at noon. How's that? Friday at noon. We'll play on Friday at noon. So that way then it's a good start off for the weekend. So we're going to use this big one here. And for those of you who do not know, this is the Corner Bouquet. This is a free stamp set with Celebration. It's this one right here. It's on page four of your Celebration brochure. And guys, I had a question about this the other day, so I want to make sure you guys know this. Somebody asked what size block should they get. Did you guys know right down here they have what blocks it uses? It uses the A, the B like boy, and the E like Edward. All three sizes of those will fit. Now, I can tell you this one right here, the little one, that's a size A. And this one right here is probably the size E. But these two would have to go pretty much on the size E. This one, I think, would fit actually... Um, no, I don't think it does fit very well on the D block. So the E block, if I was only going to buy one block, I would buy the E block and then I could use it on all of them. It's kind of like, um, like when Joshua was little, we had to buy him a new Boy Scout shirt and we got him a nice one, one of the nicer ones. And it was quite expensive. And anybody who has children, you know, children tend to grow. So we deliberately bought him a larger size. So it would last him... Well, you know the way kids grow. It lasts like two weeks. Some of them, it just, they grow overnight. But it's the same thing. If you buy the bigger block on here, you can use it for all of them. So this right here is the E block. And it is about, hmm, let's go with about, what's that, three, a little over three and a quarter. It's almost three and a half by roughly four and a quarter. Yeah, roughly four and a quarter. So it's a big size block, so it would fit right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside. And we'll go ahead and take the big one out because this one is still in my bag from Monday. I haven't even had a chance to unload that yet. I always make the extras on the cards that I have left over. And I haven't even had a chance to do that yet. My goodness. So um, it does have on there, there's the E. I don't know if you can see that. There's a letter E on that. So with that, I'm just going to lean down. And you may have to move it around a little bit to get it exactly to fit. And then I just press down. And you want to make sure it's not on any of the beveled edges. That's the easiest way to do that. So it's not, and that's a good thing. Oh, good. It looks like there's a few of you on here. Oh, hello, Miss Nancy. Hello, Miss Brenda. 
Angela. I was on your page and could not find you. Facebook? Yeah, something's going on with Facebook. I don't know, but I... I'm still keep it going. So, and Miss Pam is on. Oh, thank you, Miss Pam, for sharing it. I really do appreciate that greatly. You guys know when you share things, um, share the Facebook lives and all of that, it does bring me up higher in the standings and it gets more people to see my page. And let's be honest, if I didn't have customers, I certainly wouldn't be here. So um, that's, that's just how the nature of the beast. I have to have customers in order to sustain my business. So thank you guys for supporting my business. And I just had to put a little bit of hand lotion on. So Miss Pam, thank you so very much for sharing. I do appreciate you greatly for sharing that. Okay, so we've got this on here. So what we're going to do, because with the Reverse Lenten Challenge class, we are using note cards. So I went ahead and let me show you the note cards. Mm, let me grab a full package so you can see what they actually look like, not my already used up one. The note cards come like this. You get 20 note cards and 20 envelopes, and it's all sealed in here. It doesn't, I mean, you have to like cut the packaging open, but all of them are in here. And I will tell you, the, um, the stickers that they're starting to use, they come up really easy. So it's really nice on that for it. And I'll come back and show you how we're playing with those later on. But with the note cards, and here's mine, I put an X on mine and I just take the sticker off because the sticker gets caught on stuff. But these are, these are seven inches across and they're five inches in height. And then it's scored right here in the middle at three and a half. So yes, they come in white and very vanilla, which is really nice. But I didn't want white. You guys know me. I don't, I'm not a big white card base, but I am going to grab out one of the envelopes. This is also the thick cardstock. So a lot of times before I started buying the thick Whisper White or now the thick basic white, I would buy these because I use them all the time. And then I would use this to like punch out or cut or whatever for my, my sentiment. Okay, so there's that. Let me put this back out of the way. So I've got my little envelope here. We're just gonna set that aside. Well, what I did was I went over and I grabbed a piece of the Purple Posy because I wanted to keep the same color scheme. So here's the Purple Posy. And this makes up um, your eight and a half by 11 sheet. I just cut one and a half inches off the side because it only needed to be seven inches in length. So I cut one and a half inch strip right. Yep, still got them over here. When you do that, here's those two together. This is your one and a half inch on this side. And then this right here, because five plus five is 10 and the paper is 11 inches. So this is a one inch strip by roughly seven inches. Now you could cut this off here and that, however you want to do. I just choose to cut seven inches right here. So I've got the one and a half inch piece and it's a long piece. And then I cut the one inch piece right here off. So I scored those both in the middle. I'm gonna grab a bone folder. You're going to take your bone folder. And because, you know, if you're going to do one, do two. It's the same thing. Remember, the valley is what goes up. The mountain is on the inside. So here's the valley, and we're just going to make the, va the valley go up. And I just choose to put the two points together here, and then I burnish it on both sides. Oh, Hobbs is over here whining. Oh, my goodness. And I just took him out. I think Hobbs is upstairs, and he's probably moving around. So, Hobbs, you know, dogs can have that exceptional hearing. So, when he hears him move upstairs, he's always like, no, 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 you have to play with me, right? Okay, let me move those out of the way. Alrighty, so here is this. So, I've got my two card bases, and I've got one envelope. Actually, let me grab a second envelope because I know I'm going to stamp. And that way, then, in case I make a boo-boo, I've got my backup. All right, so there's that. I'm going to move this one aside. So, here's my two card bases. Now, the other day, I showed you guys how to do the thumping. Well, this time, instead of thumping, we're actually going to color direct on the, the stamp itself. So, using the same exact colors... We've got the purple posy, like what we used the other day. We've got the Rococo Rose, the Seaside Spray, the Terracotta Tile, and the Pretty Peacock. Well, guys, I, I will be very honest with you on this. And I know I've got my washi tape on, so I'm just going to pull here. The, the leaves or the stems, I'm going to make those Pretty Peacock. That's just, that's what I'm going to do because that's how I think they should be. The only thing with that is this is so stinking dark, and that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. However, usually I train you to go lightest to dark. Well, in this case, we're, this is the exception because there's so much of the green. We're going to do the green first. 
you want to use the brush tip on here. So you're just going to pick it up and you're just going to kind of look at this and go, okay, well, right there's a stem. Oops, and I got something up there. Well, I don't know how I did that. Hobbs, come over here. Yep, he's looking upstairs. He, see, he hears Paul. So uh, that's how that happens, right? So you just go along like this and you're just coloring. And again, when you do your marker, you color this way. Now these are really a lot of fun because they are so detailed. You kind of got to watch. See like right there, I know that's a flower, so I'm not going to color that. And you're just going to go along and you try to color. And if one of them ends up being green, then what is it Kermit the Frog always says? It's good to be green, right? Isn't that what his line always is? Somebody help me out. Does anybody else ever watch Sesame Street or is that just me? So I have always found it's just easier to go like that. Now you can see that one right there is probably a flower. So what I'm going to do is just kind of walk around that one as well and play with that. Usually I have the TV set on so Hobbs doesn't hear Hubs very well. But I did not turn it on because I had been on the computer all morning long working. Stampin' Up! has a big, um, they call it On Tour. Last year, no, let's go with two years ago, it was On Stage. And it's a Stampin' Up! event. Only demonstrators are allowed to go. So if you guys are thinking about joining, I would love to have you join my team. Absolutely love it. But there's a two-week window that we can sign up for. Come here. There's a two-week window that we can sign up for but they only had 300 at each location. Everything's all online. And um, there's one in Ohio, it's up in Cleveland, but again, all online, which is a good thing. And the way they're doing it is so that that way then you get to know other demonstrators in your geographic area. I love that, I think that's wonderful, but it was on a date that we already had something else planned. So I wasn't able to do that date. So I had to look around and see what date I could do. Well, shh, don't tell anybody, but I ended up having to do one in uh, um, that state up north. Shh, don't tell anybody. So I wanted to make sure I got in there. There was a couple of them that I could do, but that was um, that was the one I figured, well, I better sign up for that one. So at 11 o'clock when they opened, I was right on there <laughs> registering to get in there. All right, now see on this, there's a big glob right there, and I'm not quite sure. So when I flip those over, the big glob is this right along in here, if you can see it there. So I can see there's a few flowers in there. So I'm just going to kind of hope and pray I get the right ones and just kind of go along and try along in there. And again, guys, if it doesn't work out perfectly, it's okay. There we go. Oh, Angela says, I watched it. It's good to be green. Thank you, Miss Angela. I love you. We miss you so much at Lily's. I'll be so glad when you're back with us. Okay, so now you can see all of these other ones here are the flowers. So all I'm going to do is just grab hold and just start coloring. So let's make this one the terracotta tile, and we'll put a little one down in here, maybe one down in here. And I'm going with a little bit darker next to the dark green, just in case I, you know, do a little bit too much and get some of the green into it, I won't mind so badly. And let's make that one green. So we did what? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six. So we'll put that one aside. And let's grab the Rococo Rose. And we'll put our little Rococo Rose in here as well. Oops, I know I got some on that. And we'll put one right along in here. I got some on that again. Let's put one over in here. Let's go up here. And you guys get to choose. I like the uh, Rococo Rose and the Blue. I think those are both very pretty colors. So I'm going to use a few more on that one. More than like the six. Just because I think that's a really pretty color. So there's that. And then I'm going to grab the Blue. And on this case, I'm doing the lightest one last. Because it's so light. I want to make sure that it's going to... Mm, I'm sorry guys, I hope you don't get my noggin in there. Um... I'm trying to do the lightest color last so that it's it won't dry out as quickly. Okay, you know what? That one's missing. So let's hit that one. And let's do one here. Ooh, boy, there's a few down in here. So when you do these with the individual markers, it's kind of fun, but you kind of got to go back over and go, okay, gosh, I missed that one. I missed this one. And then you just 
I'm just going to go along and hit purple in the ones that I can tell don't have the shadow on it. The shadow knows. You would think I watch a lot of TV the way I reference TV lines, and I really don't. Joshua got a book uh, recently, and he wanted us to read it. Um, and we read the first one, and we watched the movie. It's called Ready Player Two is the new one. And with that, I finally started listening to it, um, I don't know, a week ago. Well, I'm finishing it up today. So it's been playing in the background. Okay, so everything is all on there, but you can see some of them are starting to dry out. So what you do is you grab hold and you go, <sighs> now because this is such a large one, you might actually have to do it a couple of times. So you're going to go, <sighs> <sighs> so that way then it's all on there. And now guys, I am going to make this one landscape because I want this to go this way. You could do it this way on here. That's up to you. But for me, I'm going to go landscape here. So ready? Well, let's open that up, lay it flat, and then just do down here. And when you, because it's such a large one, you want to press it down and I put my fist onto it and then I lean into it because this is such a large stamp. You want to make sure you get all of the flowers onto it. Okay, you ready for the magic? Drum roll. And ta-da! Look at how pretty that looks. Now, you can tell some of them got a little light. So like that purple one up there, I want that to kind of stand out. So what I'm going to do is grab my purple posy, and this time I'm going to use the pen tip. And all you're going to do, now you can trace around it if you want, but all I'm going to do is just put little dots onto it so that way then it just helps color it in a little bit more. And that way then it stands out a little bit more for me. Mm, let's see this one down here. We'll do the same thing. And again, guys, these markers, you cannot re-ink. Oops, sorry if you got my hair in there, my head in there. Um, you cannot re-ink these. So you just have to buy a new marker because it's going away. So there is that one. And again, because it took so long to do, that is okay. Mm, let's do this one down here. And again, I'm just going to go around in circles and just put those little dots. That's how you fill it in. So that way then it doesn't have a distinct line. You're just kind of filling it in like the little pixels on your television set. So we're just going to go along and keep going. And if you want to do a couple of little stretches onto it, that's fine. But I prefer to do the dotting method. That way then I don't have to worry about it. In any place that you see there's openings, you just go back in and go along. And let's do one more over here. Like this one's the Rococo Rose. So you just keep going along and you will do this. And guys, I will um, go along and make these a little bit brighter for the final photo so that you can see how beautiful this really is. See how much better that looks when you go through and do them like that? Then, because you guys know this is a free stamp set, right? This is free with Celebration. We also have another stamp set that is free that is the Heal Your Heart. And it's on the opposite page as the Corner Bouquet. The Heal Your Heart. And guys, a lot of my friends are using this one right now. It has different sentiments that, um, you know, once you hit 35... <laughs> excuse me, 35 or so, you tend to need different sentiments than when you're in your 20s. But this one has a, we're in this together. I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. So, or sorry for your loss. I don't know what I would do without you. Wishing I could heal your heart and thank you. And guys, I had a couple of friends just lose um, family members, um, sisters, brothers, uncles, all that kind of stuff. So on this one, I'm going to use the wishing I could heal your heart. And you can tell I have not even put my, I've trimmed it, but they don't have their stickers on the back yet. This one does because I had to use that for something else. But here's the wishing so I'm going to go ahead and grab the Wishing You. Well, perhaps. And there's the sticker. You know what? Let's go ahead and just put that sticker on right now. I won't have the washi tape on it, but that way then I know that the sticker is on and I know which way is up. We 
when you do it on a card base, you always want to make sure that it's going the right way. And guys, we are going to be doing some embossing, and I'm going to show you a little trick with the Stitched with Whimsy dies. Oh my gosh, I love those things. So once this is on here, now you just peel it off, and it's ready to go. There's like a little 90-second video on my YouTube channel if you want to watch that on how to put these together. And then I will go around and put um, washi tape on them. And actually, I'm just going to put a little tiny bit on it right now because otherwise I won't be able to get it up off of the block. And I use retired washi tape for these. You didn't know you were going to get a whole tutorial on how to do this, did you? I just cut those in half, and then what I do is I just put them in strategic locations so that I know I can peel those up on edges because that is kind of important. Trust me on that one. You will find that out. Oops, that didn't get on there well. No, oh, it is now. And then down here, I'll come down here for the heart. So that way then I can grab hold, and I have this little teeny tiny piece right here. I'm just going to put that right there by the... A little curly cue. Now, if there's any that hangs over, you're just going to grab your little snips and go around like that. Peel that piece off. And the other ones are minimal, so I'm not going to worry about those. Okay, so here's this. So again, I'm just going to reach down. And let's go with the... Hmm, let's just go with the pretty peacock for the marker, okay? And we're just going to line that up here. You can use your stamp pad for this, but again, since we're using the markers, we're just going to go ahead and continue with the markers on this. So you just want to make sure everything is all lined up on there. Everything is all colored. And once you're sure that it's all on there, again, you grab hold and you go, <sighs> And I can never line these things up straight, so I deliberately can't mine just a little tiny bit. That way then it looks like it's crooked on purpose, because on this, it actually is. See? Wishing I could heal your heart. Then, the last thing that we're going to do... Nope, one more thing. Sorry. One more thing. i got to clean this off because I want you to see this. Everybody has the new um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. All righty on this and I've already got it here on the side. So I want you to see how to do this. And I already have my sticky note. This is the big one, okay guys? We're playing with the Stitched with Whimsy dies. Those are the ones that we're going to use. And this is the one that we used the other night when I did this big one here. Well, if you remember, if you go back and watch it, you see that I, actually it goes this way, I believe. Um, you saw that I already had that piece already embossed or die cut with this piece before we did it. Can you see here on the purple how it's got a little bit of the line going around it? This one also has a little bit of the line going around it. Well, I want to show you something on this because I played with it. Alrighty, on that, on your hubs, come here. You have all these pieces and parts that come with your stamp and cut and emboss machine. There's a number one, a number two, there are two number threes, and there's a number four. Well, this is called a die, so place die cutting edge down. There's also insert embossing folders hinge first. So you know you need the number one. The number one goes with everything. So we're gonna go ahead and put that down. Then, because it's normally a die cut, you normally just use one and three. Well, I sat there and I thought, well, let me see. So when you do it this way, and then here's my um, my backup card, okay? When I go to put that down here and I just go to set that on, are you ready? Watch this part. So once it's on there and I get ready to send it on through, look, it's not wide enough. It's not thick enough to go through. So I'm like, oh, okay, so I have to use the number two to go along with it because the number four is really thick. So I went through and I put the number two down and then I put my number three Oop. put my card base. Well, let me get these all lined up again. This is way easier to do off camera when you don't have a small spot. So there's that. And then you would run it through. Now, I'm not going to do this because I didn't like it. But here I used one, two, and both of the number threes. When you do one, two, and both uh, the number threes, you use both of them. 
want you to see this. Can you see how dark that line is that it went through on that? It's just really dark and you can see the whole pattern on it. And I was like, I don't really like that. So I'm gonna set this one aside so you can see it. So I was like, oh, okay. And then I, that's when I tried to take out the number two and I found out this was not wide enough and it wouldn't go through. Well, I knew not to use the number four with both of the number threes because that won't even fit in there. It's just too thick. So I was like, okay. And guys, this is how you do it. You fiddle with it, you play with it, and you get it going the way you want it. So I knew I was gonna take away one of the number threes. So the number two and the number three, those are going off on the side here. So I've got number one, I've got number three, I've got my card base, and I'll set that onto it. And then I'm gonna take the number four, and when I feed that one through, cause see that one actually works right? Look at this. It gave such a nice, it's a very light imprint, but there are no shadows for the outside. So you want to use the number one, one of the number threes, okay? Only one of them, not both, and then the number four. So with that, I'm gonna move this out and I'm actually gonna do it on my real card. And the reason you do this after you have stamped is because if you try to do this before you stamp, a lot of times with the, the the valleys and the grooves and all that kind of stuff, it won't adhere nicely. So I'm just gonna go along on here and see that's gonna go right over top of that blue and it's gonna also, I think it's gonna hit a little bit there on the green. So I just line it up about where I want it. And guys, right now we do not have a magnetic plate onto it. So I have my little sticky note. I'm gonna set that right there, move the dog hair out of the way. Press that down so that within it holds. You can use washi tape. Um, somebody said the purple tape also works. I have a roll of it and somebody gifted it to me and I set it down and now I can't find it. But it goes through very easy. There's very little resistance on this as you roll it through. So remember, it's the number four, your cardstock and your die, the number three right there, and then the number one. That's all you use on this for the stitched whimsy, or that's all I chose to use. You can change it up any way you like. So let's move those out of the way. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. There we go. All right, are you guys ready for the magic moment here? We'll pull this off. And this is already on here, ready, set, ta-da. See, look at that. It just went through there ever so nicely onto it. And you can tell it hit some of it, so it makes it look really cool. And on the other side, it's just very lightly on the other side because this is on the inside of the card. So that's okay with me. So that's how I wanted to do that one. And then I have a piece of that light purple ribbon and I'm gonna grab one of my glue dots. And you guys have seen, I always put a piece of ribbon here on it so I know right where the opening is and all I have to do is fold this back. I just usually crease that and I just press down the bad side down onto the glue dot and pull it up. That's the easiest way to do it. A lot of people try to remove them with their fingers. You don't wanna do that. And then I just usually twist it in so it doesn't come across. And you can put it down here, you can put it up, you can put it in the corner. On this one, I'm actually gonna put this one up here in the corner for the wishing you the best. And I'm actually gonna send this to my friend Nancy, who is part of my team. Yeah, you know, for the longest time, the only Nancy I ever knew was uh, my friend Nancy, or my mother-in-law Nancy. That was the only Nancy I knew. Now I have two Nancys that come to Lily's on Mondays. I have a team member named Nancy. I got all kinds of friends named Nancy, I love it. So we're just gonna put that up there, and then you can sprinkle some rhinestones and I'm going to grab my rhinestones and you guys know this week through the 14th which, or the 13th so any order that was placed on Sunday which was the 7th through the 13th which is this whole week Sunday through Saturday you'll receive uh, with a $35 or more order you'll receive a package of well this one's used you'll receive a full package of the rhinestones that's my thank you gift to you this week Wait until you see what I do next week. You're going to like next week's one too. So you're going to want to just get all of your um, orders all in this week and next week. And my pickup tool is away. So we're just going to grab hold here. And all I'm going to do is use three of these smaller ones. And I'm just going to kind of put them here onto the flowers. 
And if you wanted, you could go through and put all of them on flowers, use up a bunch of the rhinestones. I'm gonna choose not to do that. And there's one there. And then I am gonna put my third one. See, there's one, two, and I'll just put that one right along in here. Then what I'm gonna do, see how those are on there? I'm going to grab my light purple posy blend. Guys, it has to be the blends. If you try to use the markers onto it, it just slides right off of it. So what you're gonna do is grab the light purple posy and we're gonna use the thin side. And you just have to be a little careful on this. And you're just gonna color that so it just picks up just a little tiny bit of the purple. Not a whole lot, it just adds just a wee bit. You know it's there. Your recipient may or may not know that it's there. So there is that. And that is, I would still call that one a wow card because of all the markers that you had to color with it. And the one that we did the other night, well, right here, was with the thumping technique. So that's why that one's a little bit darker. We did it with the thumping on here and it didn't take near as long as what this one did. So you guys ready to see some other stuff we can do with note cards? And I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek on the reverse Lenten challenge class. I showed this last night at my team meeting and two of the ladies signed up for it. So guys, on the reverse Lenten challenge class and the seashell class, it comes in a box like this. This is the seashell class. And guys, this is $30. You're getting all of the items in here and I'm actually gonna show you some of the cards to go along with them. And I can't wait to show you the 3D item because that was like, everybody really liked that one. It's my little note on that. You're getting six by 12 sheets of each of the pieces of paper. So here's this and the reverse. So you're getting 12 sheets, but it's a half of a package of the paper. Today is the last day that you can sign up for it. And just hang on for a second. You're gonna love these cards that I'm making with them. Okay, whoops, there we go. Because I took this out and showed it last night at the team meeting. So you get all of that. Then you get a full package of the opal rounds and you get a full spool of the linen thread. And there are 15 yards on the linen thread. And then you get all of these pieces and parts in here. So let me put this back in. These are your cards. And guys, I do label them so you know what is in the card base or what's in the card class here. And check this out. Now these pieces and parts, that goes with your 3D item right here. But you're getting the five cards. And when you open this up, all of the pieces and parts are in here. And like this piece is what you're stamping on. I give you a backup piece. So that way then in case you boo-boo it, you're ready to go for the next one. And each one is a little bit different. So there's like our Sahara sand. Here's the flirty flamingo. There is your petal pink, your seaside spray. And this one, I gotta show you guys, ready on this one? Okay, you're not stamping on this piece, but this is the shimmery white, and this actually layers onto here. And then using your um, designer series paper, you're gonna cut a piece that that's what you stamp on to put in here. But do you see this? I have already embossed this with the seabed. And then ready? Oh, I love this, ready? You're gonna love this too. This is the pearlescent paper. And guys, this is how your kit comes. I went ahead and I die cut it first using that pearlescent paper, and then I embossed it using the embossing folder that is part of the, the uh, whole collection. And that is in here like that. And see, I've got it so it's pretty well protected. But there's your seaside spray piece. And then the last one is your melon mambo piece. Oh, this one's really fun too. And see right here, this is the embossing folder. Remember that piece that I just showed you that was all die cut? And then inside here, is the very vanilla for your insert. Then you've also got, you get one of the little pearl eye stickers. These are so fun. Because you're gonna stamp here on the, oops, let me put that back in. Because you're gonna stamp the sand dollar on the pearlized piece, I went ahead and die cut it for you. Everything's all ready. And then here's what you're going to um, do your sentiment on. So that is right in there as well. So those are the five cards. And then the sixth item is a frame. It's a, we were talking the other day at my uh, Bible study on Saturday mornings. One of the ladies said something about, does anybody remember the old WWJD uh, bracelets that we used to have, those plastic bracelets? And I'm gonna put these back in here so I don't lose them. 
um, she was saying something about, wouldn't it be nice if we had reminders like that, you know, that weren't the plastic bracelets. So, um, and this already has a little ding on it. This is my sample one for when I do the video. I haven't done the video yet, but this is a frame. And then here is a piece of the very vanilla, and you can see I've already embossed it along in there. Then you've got your early espresso piece, and then this is the piece that you're actually going to stamp on again, and this is the shimmery white piece, and again, you're getting two, so in case you boo-boo it. And then there's going to be a little heart that you're gonna put up there, and you're going to stamp on both of these. And then because you're using your linen thread, remember that whole package of linen thread that you've got here, you're gonna wrap around, you're gonna make a little clothesline is what you're doing. So those are all the pieces and parts that you get. Now guys, the tutorial is available for $20, or you can buy the entire collection, which is $92, and I will give you the stuff in here for free. You get all of this and you get the, um, the twine, you'll already have your own paper and your own opal rounds that comes with it, but you'll get this part for free by buying the whole collection. So let me put those in there. Let me just go ahead and put everything back in, because again, this is my sample. I still have to record the video. Uh, today's the last day to do it, so I will be placing the order very early in the morning. So that's why I'm showing you this one right here. And you guys want to see what they look like? I don't know. Does anybody want to see what these look like? Let me know if you do want to see what these look like. I will not be answering any questions about how you make it because, guys, there's a PDF tutorial for it. This is a class. This is a paid-for class. All righty. So, and I'm going to save the 3D item for last. Okay. Now, I've got my, my little baggies of stuff. Oh, nobody wants to see it, huh? Okay. Well, I guess I can put this away. Um, but it all comes to... Oh, Angela says yes, please. Okay. I'm like, oh, no, nobody wants to see it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, remember me showing you that one with the blue? Look at how pretty that looks on there. I mean, beautiful, right? So that's one of the cards. And guys, you just have to use your own stamps and your own inks on it. And then this one, I thought this one was so pretty and so fun. Wishing you the very best. And here's that that you stamp on. And there's your little sticker onto it. This is already all embossed. And guys, with that being pink, don't forget, you guys can use that um, Breast Cancer Month is in May. So you can use it for that too. Um, let me see. The petal pink one. Sorry, I've got them all in my little Ziploc bag so they're ready to go. On this one, you're getting another one of the uh, little stickers there. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. Now, on this one, you're going to put everything on there, and then you run it through your embossing folder. So that's why there is no embossing on that one. So that was card three. And then card four, and this one's a fun one. Card four, I already embossed. Now, this piece right here is your... Um, die cut. Okay, so you have to die cut that, and I apologize. I did emboss mine. Yours is not embossed, because what you're going to do is you're going to cut out whichever paper you want, put it onto the daffodil, and then you run that through the embossing folder. But your starfish are already die cut, so all you have to do, and this piece right here is already um, rounded with the pick uh, petal punch. The ends are already punched out for that. And then the last card, and remember, there's still a 3D item that's going along with it. Now, guys, this one right here is a fussy cut from your designer series paper. And again, you're going to choose which paper you want to put here. The pink is in there, the flirty flamingo, and the um, Sahara sand is already there. You'll put all of those on, and then you run it through your embossing folder. So none of those are embossed. You wrap your um, twine around it. You'll stamp that yourself, and there's your um, opal rounds. And then guys, here is the 3D item. And this one I really like. And when I showed it last night to my team, it was so fun. One of the ladies, um, she even said, she was like, oh, Dawn, where did you get that frame from? And I'm like, okay, I got a really cheap frame. You'd want to use something different. Um, so you're going to get whatever, um, you'll get whatever frame you want. I simply made mine using this one. You're getting all, you saw on here, you're not getting a frame with it. You'll use your own frame, okay? But that way then all the pieces and parts are ready. You ready? <gasps> Ooh, look at
look at that. It's like a shadow box. I took, I mean, there's no uh, glass onto it here, but we've got Love You to the Beach and Back. And then this piece, sorry, that got off a little bit off, made it like a little clothesline that friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. And then those are all fussy cut. This is embossed, that you'll emboss yours. And it just made it really nice to be put up. So guys, that's the class. And you're getting it for $30, $30 to get all of this stuff in here. Um, when I figured it out, it was over, it was like $27. So it's really a nice price point for you. So there's that one. And then, would you guys like to see the Reverse Lenten Challenge one? Because we can't meet in person. Oh, let me put this back in the bag here. We're unable to meet in person. So instead of you guys all coming here for the Reverse Lenten Challenge, which is what we always do, because we can't, I did it as far as you'd have all the stuff. You have to use your own inks on this, and then I would recommend a Wink of Stella. But on this one, guys, this is the Reverse Lenten Challenge class. And guys, for um, it actually showed up on my feed four years ago, uh, because evidently Lent was very close to around here as well. Um, the uh, I charged $40 four years ago. This price has not gone up. And guys, I do not make money on this class. I want to make sure everybody understands this. So this is an optional add-on for it. And the supplies actually cost over $40. Um, I think it, we figured out that it was like $47. It was, it was actually a little bit closer to $50. Um, and that was before you even add in the time that I had with it, the PDF tutorial, and the YouTube video that goes along with it. So you get these two pieces of your basic white note cards and envelopes. I do have two packages left of Whisper White. So if somebody wants Whisper White, I can only give that to one person. So you just gotta let me know. But you get two of those, and then you'll get individual Ziploc baggies like this. One, two, three, four, and five. And can you guys see in here, like that's already embossed. Those are already all cut. This one's embossed. Those are all cut. You've even got your circle dies in there. Again, embossed and the die cuts, cut, die cut, embossed, die cut, and the little pieces here. Hi, Hobbs. Again, more embossing, more embossing, and the die cuts. And guys, if you notice, these right here, all three of these use the stitched so sweetly dies. So this is one size, one size, one size, and then this one right here is also one of them. And then they're already all embossed. And guys, when you see this one, and I'm going to show this one, um, well, I'll show you. Um, this one is very, very easy. I mean, very, very, very easy. But the reason that one is very, very easy is this one is an absolute wow card. So I don't want you to do this and go, oh my gosh, there's no way on earth. Because here are five designs to get the 40 cards. You need to make eight of each of them. So in here, you're getting all eight pieces and you actually get nine pieces of the white. So you have one extra for a boo-boo. Same with the circles. You get one extra, same one extra, same one extra, same one extra. But that way then you've got all of that. And guys, this whole thing, like I said, I'm only charging $40 on it because for the Reverse Lenten Challenge, for those of you who have never done this, the whole premise is that you're giving out something instead of giving up something. You are giving out 40 cards. You give it to the mom who's struggling with the very independent toddler. You're giving it to the bank teller, the cashier at the grocery store, somebody that you want to share with them Christ's love and to let them know, hey, here's something that way then they can hold on to it. They can look at it and then go, oh, all right. Oh. And, you know, sometimes we just need to go, oh, that's all you need, right? But that's, and it's an optional add-on to the class and it's $40 or you can buy the PDF tutorial for 20. Oh, sorry. It also comes with the His Love stamp set. You get all of this for the $40. So guys, like I said, it's over, it's almost $50. It's well over $40. Uh, the supplies alone was like $47. That alone was like $47. And then with all of this extra, um, it was it was over. So this is what you actually get. Sorry, I forgot to tell you the stamp set. You do get the stamp set because you are going to need those with that. All right, so that's what you get with it. All righty, so the cards. Oh, and guys, like I said, it comes here in the priority. 
And I'm placing the order tomorrow. So everything is in there and you get all of it and it comes out to you. And again, shipped priority. So the cards are, nope, let me grab it. There we go. Okay. So again, guys, these are all note cards. Okay. It says I'm going to miss doing that with you this year. I know, but Angela, you can still do it at home. As long as you make the cards and send them out, that's the biggest thing. Here is the first one. And guys, you know how your Bible has the gilded, the golded edge on each of them or the silver? I just took the Wink of Stella and went along on that. So there was card one. And again, using the Wink of Stella, we went over and we colored the cross onto them. Card two. This one we can use um, for May for the, um, yeah. Oh gosh, it's snowing outside um, for breast cancer month. We've got your praying and the hope. And then I took the Wink of Stella and went over the word hope. And I'll show you that one. This one is the easy one, remember? Because I wanted to make sure you had an easy one. And then the last one, and I showed you how to color on that, how to color this, how to do marker onto it. So those were the five cards that you're getting. And you're making 40 cards. So guys, again, wonderful, fast, easy, great class to use. And then you've got 40 cards to send out. Whew. All right, so who now wants to see my sneak peek from what I just got from Stampin' Up, right? Oh, let me move that box out of the way. See, I've got so much going on today. Oh, let me cover up my address there. All right, so on this one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the snips, and I'm just going to slice those open. So guys, I do hope you do sign up for classes. Um, again, this is my business. This is my full-time job. So this is how I stay in business is by doing classes. Here's our bubble wrap, my stuff here. Okay, I was running out of note cards, so I had to get a couple more of my basic white note cards. So you've seen those. I got my punch party up here. This is all the new stuff. Um, I got some more of my Oso Ombre paper. <gasps> Shh, don't say anything, Carol. Act surprised. Ready? Then, in here, and guys, as demonstrators, we're actually able to order online and get pre-orders. This is the Natural Touch Specialty Paper, and I got three of them. That's the max we can get. They put limits on us. And are you ready for this? And this paper is only going to be available beginning March 2nd through while supplies last. What that means is it's not going to make it into the big catalog. Oops, I missed two of the Oso oh Ombre papers. Let me move that out. Okay, so you ready? You get two pieces of this. And guys, this just feels like very thin veneer uh, wood. Can you see how pretty that is? And there is a slight sheen with it. So one side has the wood grain, the other side is like that. And you only get two sheets of it. And I like it that they come in the resealable um, big 12 by 12 and they put a very nice piece of chipboard in there so it doesn't get bent. Guys, this stuff is really flimsy. They were saying that this also embosses very nicely. So I'll be playing with that. Next month's class, I am planning on using that. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it for the class, but because I'm afraid some of the paper is going to sell out. That's what I'm really afraid of. Then this is the Butterfly, is it Bijou? 6x6 six six Designer Series paper. And these are, I know, Angela. And Angela, you with the butterflies, you're going to love this. And guys, again, if you're thinking about joining, you know you can get this as part of your starter kit, right? We have a fully customizable starter kit. You can get these as just part of your starter kit. Okay. Oh, good. I'm so glad they do this. A lot of times they'll do like this paper, that paper, that paper, and they go one by one. I love it when they put them all together. So here's my little piece there. I'm going to move that aside. Alrighty. So here is one of the papers. Ooh, look at how pretty. We'll go backwards. So here's the back one. So that is this one right here. And then this one has, oh, such pretty little butterflies all over it. Look at that. And those would be nice to just, you know, cut right on out. You can do that while you're watching TV. Just sit there and cut all of those. So there's, and then there's the background onto that. So there's that one. Oops. Move those aside. Can you see all of those? Okay. Then this next one. Ooh, that's pretty with the two shades on the sky. 
Oh yeah, that's very pretty. Now I like this, although some of the butterflies are upside down, like you can see that one's upside down, that one's going left, that one's going right. Pretty much so this is how the right side of it. And then you've got the, is that coastal? Hmm, Calypso coral maybe? Yep, Calypso coral for the background onto it. So here's the front of that one. Ooh, look at that with the beautiful colors on there. Now those are a little too small. I probably wouldn't cut those out. Ooh, doesn't that look like a, um, oh, just like a summer's evening with the beautiful on that. So and here's the front of that one again. Okay, we got two more papers, ready? So this last one, eh, let's do the butterflies first. So there's the butterfly side. And then on the back has just like that splotchy. So there is the butterflies here. And then the last one, and I'm going to show you something on this one, so don't don't tune out yet. But here's the butterflies. And then on the back, ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. So there's that one with these butterflies. Now, and again, I got three packages. That's one, two, three, because that's the most. They put limits on us, even though we're demonstrators and our superpower is that we're able to... Uh, get things still have to put limits on us there are some dies and it's called brilliant wings dies let me go ahead and open oh gosh these things seal so well which i'm happy for it's just sometimes a little difficult okay, let's open this one up okay now do you guys see this on here has there are the butterfly outlines on this and then this one right here, I'm sorry, this is like the detailed. My apologies, that's the detail. These are the outlines on here, and you can see, and I'm actually going to pull this one off so I can show you. Well, and you guys know these things bend very easily, so be very careful pulling these out. Okay, so these extra pieces here, before I get to this, these extra pieces, this one looks like that actually is another die cut one to come out of it. There's... Uh, two of the smaller butterflies that you can just simply die cut those out. Now this one right here, and I'm going to presume this one, and I'm going to presume this one, but I don't know. I just got these, okay? Um, this one right here embosses. So um, the one, the sample that I saw, remember that beautiful wood paper? She put this on it, and it just made like little hash marks across the wood grain onto it to make it look really cool. Um, I don't know about this, but I'm going to presume that does the same thing onto it. And I'm going to presume those also leave the little dots onto it. So that would be my guess. But this big piece here, and keep in mind, okay, uh, let me move this out of the way too. Um, on this one, you ready? You know when you die cut it, you flip it over. See the edges are here, that's the cutting edge. You ready? Can you see that? It lines up perfectly. All you got to do is run that through and you already have one, two, three, four, five, six, six butterflies cut out perfectly. Right there. How beautiful, right? Now you can go back and if you wanted, you could, you know, fussy or yeah, see those don't line up perfectly onto those. Okay. They just don't. But you can go through and you can do them one at a time. Or what I would do is probably fussy cut those. That's what I would do onto that. But I love that they do that right onto there. And do you notice here, you can even get the little antennas off of it. I mean, they have it all ready to cut out for that. Now, everybody pay attention on this. This paper and this paper will not... Oh, you can see my lamp on there. They will not be in the big catalog that comes out in May. So if you want these, I would tell you, I would buy them as soon as I possibly could on March 2nd. That's what I would do. Or if you want them now, join you're welcome to join my team. I'd love to have you as part of my team. You can get these as part of your starter kit. To join, you just go to dawnstock.stampinup.net. And when you start adding the items in, there's one of the, they have different, um, I don't, qualifiers on it. One is like embellishments, paper, designer series paper, cardstock, that kind of stuff. There's one that says pre-orders, okay? 
if you click on the pre-orders, you can get this now. So um, I ordered mine last week. I did not, I repeat, I did not do the expedited shipping on it because I... There was a lot that I wanted, so I needed to save the $20. But March 2nd, March 2, that's when you can get this. All right, so there's that. So just make sure the paper, and after March 2nd, there are no limits on this paper. And the paper's only, what, 11? I have my little flyer right here. Ah, there's my flyer. See, I still have all my notes here from yesterday because I had my team meeting last night, so... On the flyer, it says, yep, the paper is $11.58. And everybody, um, I know Angela said you write in, you're setting your alarm. The item number is 156824. And if you want the bundle, you can save the 10%. But if you want all of this, guys, Stampin' Up! makes it very easy. They give you one-touch ordering. The item number is 159408, and it's 7125. So, guys, 7125, again, for the starter kit, you know you get $125 worth of stuff for $99. You're saving 20%. I mean, you're saving 20%. Okay, so there's that, and you get free shipping. So there is that. But, okay, we still got one more. You ready? Here is the stamp set. It's called Butterfly, Butterfly Brilliance. And, guys, right here, can you see that? It says image at 85%. So these are smaller than what the stamp is. So you ready to see what the stamp looks like? Oh, before I do, um, somebody asked me on this. They said, can I cut apart the... Can I cut these apart? Because it all comes on one. The only thing, if you cut them apart, because say you like say you like that butterfly right there, if you take it and you cut it apart, when you go to put it back, it won't necessarily line up perfectly like this does. So you ready? Here is the stamp. And you know what? Let's just see how it's got these little pieces. You just take those straight on out. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So I saved myself time. And you guys know me, for my classes, I'm old school. I still trim my stamps. Um, I only do that because a lot of my customers are also equally as old school, and we tend to still rock and roll. So we tend to, once we do it, we rock and see how there's that extra piece around there. A lot of times you get that halo. But guys, this is one big stamp, okay? It's one. And are you ready for this? Remember, it would stamp upside down. So let me grab the stickers so that... Because remember, I don't have the stickers on this. So the stickers will line up here. Ready? So when you go to stamp it, if you stamp, say you stamp one of them in Calypso Coral, it'll punch out a bunch of them in the Calypso Coral. And then say you choose to stamp it in, what was another color? Coastal Cabana? Mm, Bermuda Bay. Say you wanted to do it in Bermuda Bay, Misty Moonlight, Poppy Parade, Calypso Coral. You would stamp all those different colors. And then you just line this up, crank it through, and it all comes out so you'd have all the different colors. Now, on this, and I want to show you on this one, the stamp or the block that you need. Ugh. And guys, I can count on one hand how many times I've used this big, huge block. And this is the, it's the F, the F is in Frank block doesn't say it on here. It's the F is in Frank block. And guys, this thing's almost like $20. It's a very heavy, thick block, but that's the only one that this will all fit on. And I know you're going to get some glare. Can you see that there? So make sure when you buy this, you buy this as well. And you guys noticed on here, there are no sentiments with this. So you don't get to get um, any sentiment stamps to go with, with it. And are you ready for this? And I, you guys know, I tell everybody, being a demonstrator is one of the best things on this earth, okay? This is $71.25 because I got the whole thing. Did you know, as a demonstrator, because I was able to place my pre-order now, I also earned celebration rewards for this. So that's why I got free celebration items. On March 2nd, celebration is over. You will not get celebration items with it at all. So again, one of the nice things about being a demonstrator 
is I saved 20% on your starter kit. Right now you're getting all that free paper. In case you forgot, that free paper is all in there. On your little celebration catalog, back here in the back, you're getting 200 sheets of new paper that's coming out in the big catalog onto that. And it's $57.50 before shipping and taxes. You get that for free. That's if you join now. You get the additional $26 for free. And guys, you can use this as well and do that right there. Um, Angela says, I can't think of the name, sorry. Oh, our Stamparatus. You would use your Stamparatus. Yes, that's exactly what you would use. Um, if you choose to cut them apart, that's what you would need to do. If you did it just this way, you wouldn't need to use your Stamparatus because everything will line up. You just ink this up and go ready to go because again, it's gonna line perfectly up right there. Makes it so stinking nice. The Stamparatus, you guys know I love that thing anyway, and that's $49. Add something little with it and you get another celebration item for it. Hello, nice and easy. And I'm gonna show you. I got the Oso Ombre paper because those of you who are earning my celebration celebration, and Angela, you've done that before. Um, I don't know if anybody else that's on here has done that before. Every year during celebration, I do a celebration celebration. For those of you who have placed $150 of orders or more with me, you have to buy it with me, um, you get to come. Usually it's come. However, last year and this year, it'll be online. But um, we're going to be playing with this paper, and you're going to get the pieces and parts to make the items that you're going to make with the celebration celebration. It's an exclusive event. It is invitation only, guys. You have to have $150 in orders. So what I always tell people, make sure you use the host code. If it's over $150, if it's 150.00 or more, do not use the host code, okay? You want your host rewards on that. But if you're only placing a $50 order or a $75 order, go ahead and use the host code on it. And then like this, this week you would qualify for the rhinestone basic jewels, okay? But you need to place the order online, but we're gonna be playing with this. How pretty, because for those of you who know, some of these, this has the circles on it, but some of them are just the plain, the ombre paper. How pretty would that be to stamp this onto it, then line this right up onto it and just cut them out. And look guys, you're still gonna have a nice little strip to put somewhere else on there, but look at how pretty that would be. Or if you wanted to instead use, any of the individual little die cuts, that would be just beautiful as well. And again, using that, so pretty. So, spoiler alert, those of you who are doing the celebration, celebration, this is the one we're gonna be playing with for that too. We'll play with a couple of other things too, but you could probably make everything with that. So, whoo, I gave you guys a lot of information today, didn't I? All righty, so here's the Butterfly Brilliance, and again, Guys, this is not available to mere mortals. That's what I always say. Mere mortals are not available for this until March 2nd. If you are a demonstrator, you can get it now. But make sure you order the big F block for that. Um, like Angela said, if you wanted, you could use your Stamparatus. That would work as well. But some people um, would prefer to use the big block. That was just that way then you don't have to worry about it or anything like that. And it's done. It is so done. So let me pull these up there. Oh, isn't that just such pretty paper? Remember, on March 2nd, there are no longer any limits. As a demonstrator, because I ordered all that I could, I got all three packages because that's all I was allowed to order as a demonstrator. So I went ahead and I got all three packages of it. So yeah, I'm going to be playing with this because I'm going to be getting samples ready. And the last thing is, don't forget, next month, I'm doing a stamp camp, which is basically a mini retreat. So guys, if you're interested in that, if you've ever taken any of my online retreats, you know, they're really nice. You get a lot of stuff. We have a lot of fun. And the last one that we did, um, we did it was a very cold and snowy day here in Ohio. And at one point I was like, guys, sorry, you gotta, you know, we gotta take a break for, you know, going to the bathroom, get something to drink, all of that. And at the end of the day, everybody said, oh my gosh, I can't believe how fast that went. This was so great. This was so great. And they had an absolute blast. So 
If you are not part of my email list, make sure you are. Just text the word Latte Joy to 22828, so that way then you're part of it. And here is my calendar. And I've already sent out, I think, everything to everybody on it. The Latte Joy online stamp camp will be on the 20th of March. That's that one right there. Um, right now I have a stamping and games night on the 19th. Guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it that night, so it'll probably move to April. It's been rescheduled several times. And for those of you who are Paper Pumpkin subscribers, here in February, because of the way the dates fell, um, the team night is going to be on Thursday the 25th, and for customers, that is on... Friday night, the 26th will be that. And then the all occasions class is on the 27th. Whoops, sorry, 27th of February. So I think that's everything for you. Um, today's the last day to register for Paper Pumpkin. Today's the last day to register for the Friends Are Like Seashells class. And today's the last day to register for the Reverse Lenten Challenge class. All of those are the last days to register. So let me know if you have any questions. I will post the picture of today. So it doesn't look like there's any other comments. Does anybody have any comments for me? Anything I can answer for you? I already talked to you about this for the butterfly bouquet. This is my calendar. I showed you the sign up for my email list. And I think that's it, guys. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Tune in on Friday at noon. And I will, I forget what I said I was going to do on Friday at noon. Well, I'll come back to that. I'll have to rewatch the video and figure out what I said I was going to do. But I'll do another Facebook Live on Friday at noon. So that way then you can see that as well. And uh, with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Enjoy. Uh, it's starting to snow again here in central Ohio. So that means it's going to be cold. So please make sure you guys stay inside, stay warm, stay safe. Um, we're not planning on driving anywhere soon, anytime soon. We've already hit the grocery store and got our milk and eggs and bread. So we should be set, right? Have a great night, guys. Enjoy. Bye-bye now.